Hi, my name is Tanner Smith, and I'm a pastor with the Harbor Churches in Grand Rapids, Michigan. Today, we're going to talk about something called the drama triangle, Cartman's drama triangle, and its other side of the coin, the empowerment triangle. So with the drama triangle, there's always a victim. This person feels helpless, like there's nothing that they can do. They oftentimes can't see uh, opportunities or options for the future. And they always focus their attention on the persecutor. The persecutor is somebody who's rigid, who's always blaming and criticizing, and oftentimes who keeps the victim held down by the way that they criticize and through their rigidity. Both the victim and the persecutor uh, are uh, in a relationship with each other that's, that's antagonistic, but then they also have this third person that, that, that we'll call the rescuer. The rescuer is somebody who wants to help everybody else while denying their own issues. They'll just cram everything else down. They actually feel anxiety if they're not trying to help somebody. They have to help other people. So the victim wants the rescuer to save them or rescue them from the persecutor. And you've got this triangle. At the center is anxiety and fear. And all three people, the rescue, persecutor, and victim, remain stuck in this high, uh, in this difficult, high conflict situation that they're in. Now, a way out of this is to move towards the empowerment triangle. In the empowerment triangle, the victim becomes a creator. And what we mean by a creator is somebody who is outcomes oriented, who's creative and, and solution focused, who's a problem solver, who can take responsibility for themselves and engage. The creator is uh, moved forward when the persecutor becomes the challenger. The thing that the challenger does is clarify through asking really good questions, through analyzing, through becoming a, a teacher of sorts. And the creator and the challenger are able to become creators and challengers because there's a coach. The hero or the rescuer becomes a coach. The coach's job is to ask all kinds of questions and draw the very best out of the victim and the challenger. What the coach doesn't do is take responsibility for the creator or the challenger, for their, uh, uh, for their actions. The coach takes responsibility for themselves and helps the other two, the creator and the challenger, to take responsibility for themselves and thereby clarify and move the whole process forward. Rather than being centered around anxiety, this triangle is centered around empowerment and moving forward. Now, this empowerment triangle works really well when we're dealing with interpersonal relationships. There's a broader way to think about this called systems theory. Over the next several weeks, we're going to have a series on systems that explains how this, uh, this kind of movement from anxiety to empowerment, or in the Gospels we'd say from fear to love, how that works in a broader organization. We hope you'll stay tuned.